Legend of Total War here with part 26 of my Rome 2 Legendary Caesar in Gaul campaign as Rome. On the last episode I conquered Cenobum uh, using Caesar from I think these guys. Actually I can't remember who. Uh, it was a couple of days ago. And I'm pretty sure I declared war on these guys but that was um, after I took the city so that needs to be done again because I that was happened on Are a different day. Venetti have joined up. Now I've had a bit of a uh, bit of a, a review over the situation. I've reached the max level of Imperium. I'm although I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm assuming basically all the tribes of Gaul are going to team up and try to fuck me over. In which case, I think a little bit of preemptive fucking up their ass is in order uh, before they come at me. Now this army here. I could send it over to Devoderon to take out the Swaby. I think that would be alright. I'm just thinking what needs to be done. Let me see. Fucking clouds, get out of my way. Now, although Caesar can't move any further, there are some regions around here that I could possibly reach. I could possibly get rid of these guys as well, but they're not. All they're doing is consistently sacking Agadincum. Now, um, I need to know if there's anything nearby here that could that could hurt Caesar, because essentially this army is okay. It's it's not in great shape, but it's not in bad shape either. Um, just help to to have an understanding of what's going on in the area. So I reckon I could actually get an army from here to here pretty easily, and if there's no one defending it then great, maybe I'll take it, but um, we'll, we'll just see firstly. I think I've got, let's see, three, six generals here that are just sitting around, and two that are, are in the recruitment pool. I've got a bit of money, but not heaps. I will hire, let's see, you, what, what level are you? Doesn't fucking tell me what level they are. It's not telling me. Well, that's great. Um, he's got plenty of movement. Not him. This guy's pretty shit. I'll go with you. Reinstate. Yep. Now, if I'm sending him over here, I'll need a scout. So, we'll just get Legatus, and we'll have a little bit of a look. What's going on? There's nothing there. Alright, what mercenaries are in the area? Not much. Alright, well, what's the city got? It's got 12 units. Celtic warriors, Celtic tribesmen, Celtic skirmishers, Celtic slingers. An army of generals might just be able to take that down. Because those aren't great units that they've got there. Celtic tribesmen are... I mean, essentially, the thing I need to focus on is making sure those Celtic skirmishers and the slingers don't do that much damage. Apart from that, my if I had uh, three lots of legionary, veteran legionaries, which would be generals, they would be able to take that out with that much problem. Uh, it would also help if I had some missile units, but there's none available. Mercenary noble horse, yeah, but they're expensive. Uh, mercenary Italian spearmen, forget it. Gallic warriors, I don't think it's necessary. Because what I can do is I can come here, with, say, four generals, attack. If I win, great. Then just disband them. And if there are any armies nearby, hopefully what will happen is they'll be lured over to here and they'll be sitting there for next time so that Caesar can go and fucking kill them. Sort of like a little bit of a trap. Um, and it gives me an idea of what's going, in, going on in the area. So I might do that. It's time to start taking a bit more fucking risks, because I haven't really expanded very fast. I mean, in this type of campaign, you really can't when you go, this is total war. But I've got plenty of generals. Let's give it give it a shot. Yeah, obviously, not going to auto-resolve that, um, or, or start it right yet. So let's see. Four generals is what I need. Preferably the shittest ones.
Because they're going to need experience. You're, you're pretty shit. Because we're just getting fighters. Of course, it'd be devastating if I lost. But I really don't think I'd have that much trouble with it. Whether they sell it out or not. Then again, maybe some mercenaries would help out. Alright, who's next? 575 for another one. Yeah, why not? Why not? Could use more men. Use more generals. I mean, they do get incrementally expense, uh, more expensive the more you have. But whatever. Uh, plus, plus four public order. Definitely don't want to lose him. These are all pretty good guys here that are left over. I don't want to spend any more. I'll use this guy. I mean, as long as they don't die, I'm not really making a risk. I mean, of course I'm taking a risk, but... We'll see how this looks in regard to the... Uh, I can auto-resolve this. Fuck hiring mercenaries. It doesn't make any difference how many casualties I take, because I'll just be leaving. I don't even have to fight this myself. I'm not just going to disband them all anyway. Pyrrhic victory. Uh, whatever. Oh, fuck me, shit! One of them died. Well... That fucking sucks. He took the brunt of the attack. Ah, oh, well that's no good. Alright, so this settlement here. So that didn't really work out according to plan. Uh, maybe I should have fought that manually. Was that the guy I paid for just recently? I hope so, the guy that I just paid for. Yeah. Because the other ones weren't too bad. Um, or was that the good one? Shit, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna occupy it. We hunger for battle. Which one was he? Ready for orders. Yeah, this is the good one, I think. I, I can't really tell though. That's the one I paid for. Yeah. Well, doesn't really matter a great deal. Um. Commander. Yeah, well, that kind of sucks. But can't keep these guys here because they're in danger. And that, at the very least, if there were, if there are any ar any any enemy armies nearby here, maybe they'll be drawn to Suindinum. Ready for orders. And uh, not bother Caesar at the very least. Give him a chance to recover. Not that I would really have a big problem with it, but. Sort of just get them to lure here so I can go and attack them, because I'm much better in attack than in defense. Uh, I don't know, I'm just trying new things. Um, could probably get someone over to here as well. Don't know if there's anyone sitting there. Uh, how many generals have I got available? Only four more, so I can only really do that once. Um... Don't know if I want to risk it. Ah, uh, the thing is, I've taken their region, so if I... I could eliminate their faction if I killed them off. Yeah, well, that'll have to be something for another time. Um, next step. Let's get this guy over to Devoderon. And uh, kill, kill the fuckers that are there. Okay, so we, it's good. We've seen one army here. That's what I want to see. Hopefully there's no more than that. Good. One army. That's great. It's not too much and, you know, should be minimal casualties on my side. Just get rid of one of their fucking armies. The Swaby are fairly spread out. They're not a one settlement uh, empire. So, their probably armies are elsewhere. So, I shouldn't be expecting a major counterattack. But it is possible. Oh, they're sallying out, fuckers.
Okay, so they're sallying out. I can't see where they are. Fucking forest everywhere. Doesn't matter, they, I don't think they stand much of a chance. See what they've got. Choppers. Now, with the blessing of the gods, we shall do our best to make their deaths as nasty as possible. Well, that's all right. Okay, so what are they doing? They are taking a defensive position. That's because they have artillery themselves. That's okay. That gives me a chance to use my artillery before sending in my guys to charge. Fucking restrict camera. But they're also up on the forest in the hills. So that's also a bit of a pain. My guys are ages away. I need to get them much closer than this. I really fucking hate fighting in the forests. For one thing, the trees seem to slow down the fucking computer. And, um, generally, they just make it hard for me to see. The computer don't have eyes, so they don't, they don't need to be able to see the same way I do. Because the thing about field battles is that, generally speaking, the artillery don't get to be used in full efficiency because the enemy don't uh, don't stand in one place except in this sort of situation well they're not all clumped together like they are in city battles doesn't mean they're not useful they're not just then just not as useful okay I can attack these club levy over here not a big deal but it's a start And we're getting some collateral damage on those Germanic youths. See the rocks rolling down the hill. If I can break just one battalion, I'll be... F that'll be okay. Okay. About to happen. They're broke, but they're not shattered. I want them shattered, because otherwise they'll just come back. They didn't shatter. Okay, we've got another spear levy over here. Not a big deal, but... We'll see how it goes. The more kills my guys can get, the better. They don't have a huge amount of ammo, though, because the general hasn't got logistics, um, or advanced logistics. It seems like that other army did manage to uh, escape, though, which is good, because I want to fucking go. If I win the battle, they all die anyway. Nope, there they are. Fucking pricks. I'm going to aim for them again, because I want them gone. Not that Club Le Levy are particularly strong. I don't know, I just want one of the battalions to be gone. They've killed a few. That's good. They've done their worth. Of course, if they can get a few more kills, that would be even better. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Fucking prick. All right, whatever. They're not going to shatter this time. Doesn't look like it. Not great shots. Couldn't get too close because of the enemy artillery. Although the uh, the Roman ballista tend not to take too much casualties against um, scorpions, but oh well. And now... Oh, okay. This is going to be a hard nut to crack. Well, time to charge on in. 
take off formation attack. Create formation group and hopefully this doesn't go too badly. Certainly would have gotten a much better result from a city battle, but you know, can't have it all my way all the time. No, I don't think this lock formation group is going to work on this one. It doesn't even matter if I run them in there, because I just use the whip, we have discovered the and um, they move really quickly. I mean, they recover. A lot of Germanic tribesmen. Not really cavalry friendly. But heavy infantry should be able to take them out. These guys are the ones getting shot. Keep them close together, so that my casualties should be evenly spaced out. Alright, what's this? We got people doing shit. Fucking bloody woods. Need to be able to see what I'm doing. It's a bit too clumped over here. General, you're needed. Fucking wide selecting. What are they doing? They need to be providing... Okay, they're distracting them, I suppose. That's good. That works for me. Gives me a chance to cripple the rest of this army over here. Actually, this is going quite well. I think. That one there's taking a lot of damage. Why is that? I think fucking being a moron or something. It'd help if I could see what I'm doing. Fucking forest. Alright, I've got the high ground here. I've taken it off them. I've got some routing units and I'm coming up the hill as well. They routed over there. Good. Let's fucking legionary sandwich these. Fucking assholes. Sweat, you pricks. Definitely will feel good to get rid of this army of theirs. General, go sort them out. Germanic slingers. Yeah, definitely want to go take them out, so do so. Our hidden units have been discovered. Okay, the battle looks like it's definitely turning in my favor. Look how many of them are, are routing. What I want to hear is the general is dead. The enemy general. Okay, how'd this go? Okay, got the slingers. Got them on the flank. These tribesmen aren't that big of a threat. Especially since I have legionaries coming right at them. the enemy is still standing. They've been given a royal beating on this one and I can't even see what the fuck I'm doing. Good. Let's not drag it out. Cool. Thank you. I'll take that. So there was a bunch of notices here. Uh, I've encountered new factions after uh, taking uh, that other settlement. So there, these guys now need to be declared war on. Doesn't matter. Come, I've come. reached Let's that level of Imperium where... Fuck doesn't matter anyway. 
they're all going to gang up on me, which is fine. Let them fucking try. Uh, we've got Mark Antony over here. He's almost ready to get started. Uh, what am I doing? In all honesty, that army there, let's see, what have we got here, is probably, I don't know, I might just cancel this. I reckon I could spend the money elsewhere, and an army could come through here any second from now and retake it, which is fine if they do, because they'll be sitting there and I can go back and take them, but I don't want to be wasting money. That's the big concern. Big deal, yeah. Okay, destroy this shit. That. Oh, hang on. Is this region being taxed? It's not. Should I tax it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tax it. I'll leave that for now. Alright. Then. This guy, this bitch, just keep an eye on what's going on over here. Now this army could probably make it over here, but it's not very big, but that's not to say they don't have armies here and here as well. It might be a good idea if I sabotage it to deny them access to come here. Good. Not only are they severely damaged, but there's no way they're going to be able to get here to reinforce them if they do decide to attack. And this agent is now at level 9. Doesn't really matter though. Alright. Now that I'm at level, uh, the last level of Imperium, I need a dignitary to be attached into this army to save me money. So, let's see. Who gives the best upkeep? That one. Okay, I think I need more money, and I don't need to be having this much in the army, because next turn I can recruit another three. Well, at least another three. It might be four, because I've still got that ability. Uh, let's see. What has the best, uh, highest upkeep? The legionaries do. So maybe I'll drop him off, and him. That way, they've got uh, capacity for three, and I've still got a bit of money to spend this turn. And it shouldn't be slowing me down at all, anyway. Just thinking, what do I need to do? I have an idea. Oh no, I'm just looking up here and I'm just thinking, man, I want to fucking kill them. That's all I can bloody think about. Out here, I don't know, I don't really want to bother them, I don't know why. Uh, because these guys are bigger. These guys, it's most likely that their armies are sitting, sitting right there, because it's only one, se it's only one settlement uh, region. Whereas these guys, they've the uh, Atrabates, Atrabates, or whatever, they're much bigger. So there's less chance of their armies being there. In fact, it's probably there. I want to send a scout to have a look. So I'll send you. Under this legion here, with the cavalry. Ready for battle. Fucking can't get there anyway. March. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I can't get there, let's just have a quick little look over here, and then maybe I'll force march him over there. Yeah, that's what I thought. There, there, there. Then if I were to look around over here... There's fucking nothing there. It's basically asking to be conquered. But of course I can't reach. Well, it could just be this general. Let me see. His, his movement speed is... None. A little bit. What if one of the other ones could make it? He can reinforce. Let's see. What have we got available? This guy's got a lot of extra movement. He might just have enough... To, to tip it over to there. Um, I'm going to check to see if one of the other battal other armies around here has a better legion. 
that I can disband. See this one here, level two legion. Oh no, shit, level level one. It's a level five, but can't be using that. Let's see, where are my legions? This guy over here. He's got a pretty no. Eh, don't worry about it. Let's give it a shot. Uh, it needs to be cavalry that I sent. Actually, I should recruit it from here. Because that, I think, is a shorter distance. But I can't be certain because it's not over... It doesn't go over the uh, the road. But let's just check. I'll send this guy. Because it's free. I mean, if I fuck it up, I'll just just disband them. And no big deal. Uh, he can make it to uh, Bratis fucking Brat dickhead shit fuck. Asshole land. Let's go have a look. He took some attrition going across the uh, the lake. Only a little bit. All right, so that's uh, whatever. What have we got in regard to mercenaries? Archers. Archers are fucking fantastic for this kind of shit because they have. Uh, one lot of slingers, and I think a lot of archers can defeat slingers, because... Yeah. I think. Alright, what else can I get? I'm not from there, we're getting from here. So this guy, as a legionary, on force march... Yeah, on force march bring him up here. What the fuck am I doing? Seriously. This is like ultimate raiding fucking shit tactics. But hey, if it works, distract the fucking attributes. Who knows what'll happen if I can take the settlement. Um, I've got another general in the recruitment pool. Might as well hire him. Fuck, not doing anything else for me sitting there. improves my chances and afterwards you know just disband him and he'll be free because I'll be doing this manually this time and I did have interest in hiring say two lots of archers or three well, let's just see how to go and we'll see what the uh, doesn't give me a very good uh, very good chances there so, these guys here, what are their... How much ammo do they have? 15. Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll hire the other one. At the very least, what it does is it stops the enemy from um, from hiring them. Ah, oh, shit, I spent all my money. I wonder why I don't have as good odds now. Fuck, I don't know what... If things turn to shit after using that ammo, then I'll just retreat. I don't want to lose another general, it's not worth it. But I want to give this a go. No rain, very bad. Dry is good. Okay, this is a good settlement type. Because they clump up around here and here. And I always, I don't know why, but I always attack from here. And uh, wait for my reinforcements, use these guys. It'd be more efficient if I used them one at a time. However, if the slingers are there, then obviously it would be more efficient to have all three of them shooting their asses down. But let's see. I don't think I'll lose, but... The thing is with these these risks reinforcements have arrived. is that the gains are great and the losses aren't really that much with these really risky battles. These blitz tactics. Which when I do my blitz campaign sometime in the future you'll be seeing a lot of this kind of shit. That guy needs to stay out of it or else he's going to get killed. Actually, no, I don't want him getting killed. Okay, so what have we got here? Celtic tribesmen need to isolate. Where are those fucking slingers? If they're 
not here, then I don't need to worry. Where are they? Just need to know where they are, so I can account for it. They're not here. Alright, so... What I'll do is I'll just get one, because it's more efficient to use them one at a time. Because I really need to make their ammo last. They've only got 15. Get running! And get them not too close. Missiles ready! Warriors eager for blood. But well within range. Because of course that'll increase the damage that they do. So it's well within range of that fuckhead there. It would be a good idea to take out the general. But a better option would be to take out the guys that have their back to me. Longbow hunters. Fuck these flaming shot, flaming shot shit. Okay, so we're going to aim for them and hopefully because their shields aren't even there, do a fuckload of damage. Stop. So I'm going to play musical chairs here a little bit. But whatever it takes, I need to get the best results I can get out of these guys. Oh, they're going to... Yep, fucking play musical chairs. Who's next? Now, it might not seem like it did much damage, but I don't think I really fucking shot much either. Didn't seem like all of them shot, and they would have done hit point damage. Wait, go again. Just keep an eye on where those fucking slingers are. Because they can outrange me, I think. Shot them. Stop. Okay, so I've used up 10% of my ammo and killed 28. So just based on that projection, I should see these guys kill 280 men, which is well, well worth it. They'll pave the way for these guys when they get here. Especially if they're taking out the melee units. Yeah, one at a time. This, is, this isn't going to be good enough. It's going to take me forever if I do things this way. I don't fucking have all day. Even though this is probably the most efficient way to go about it, targeting the weakest unit, or in, the unit that's in the weakest position. I need my guys to get a bit closer there, a little bit inaccurate. Okay, so I'm expecting big results from them this time. That's pretty big results for a single volley to sh uh, to kill off that many. That's 70 kills now, and have k used up 75% of my ammo. So according to pro uh, projections, uh, times four of that, 280. Let's take a little step closer. Sometimes you just got to keep pushing it until you push your luck, I guess. The AI in this situation aren't particularly smart. There, that was fucking good. Holy shit. Killed 29 of them in that volley. Leads to a very good start of the battle. Very good. Okay, they're in the optimal range there, I think. Let them take their turns. If this bores you, you can always just skip ahead. But I'm trying to get results here. See, if I was playing by myself and wasn't recording, this is the kind of stuff I'd be doing all the time. But because I'm recording and it's technically entertainment, I try not to get myself into these situations in which I get bogged down in really long battles, which is essentially what I do in, did in Blitz campaigns and why those, those were edited and scripted. 
you don't see the majority of the time when I'm sitting there fucking micromanaging this kind of shit, but that's how I managed to get the results. Whereas with the uh, live campaigns, there's a bit more urgency involved with it. Yeah. You just can't turn down these level of results. What's this? Celtic skirmishes? Let's aim for them because they're on the side there and they're in a big fucking clump. Might get a lot of kills. Oh yeah, got a bunch there. That way I can just keep shooting them because they're, I don't know, not going to move. Oh fuck, these guys are killing even better than I thought they would. They're gonna hit 280, no s fucking sweat. Yeah, they've already hit 280, and they've still got 30% of their ammo. Hang on. Jeez, archers are good. Maybe I should use them more often. The only thing is, they wouldn't be that effective in siege battles, at city battles. Oh, fucking walled city battles. I mean, they would be better than, say, slingers, but... I don't know. These guys are definitely better than slingers. Three hundred and fifty kills based on ammo. There's no bonuses to the ammo either. If I, technically at max, if I had a really strong general and the uh, the necessary technology, they'd have thirty shots. So three hundred and eighty could be looking at fucking nearly a thousand kills with each with each fucking longbowman. Because that is, like, in a perfect fucking world. One of our units has used all its ammunition. 418. Now that is a fucking good result. Definitely paving the way for these guys to mop up afterwards. If I can kill the general, that would be even better. I do wonder if experience has anything to do with the amount of damage that gets done. Now this guy's probably not going to do quite as much damage because there's less of them now, so they're not quite as thick in formation. Oh, fuck. Though, I expect that these guys will start to rout soon, once their numbers start getting around 20. Essentially, even at 173 kills, that's that's not too bad. I'd, I'd accept that as a as a average sort of result. But they've still got 67% of their ammo. They've still got two thirds left. So triple that, we're looking at big numbers again. Fucking great. I almost don't want to disband them after the battle, but it's fucking expensive to keep them. Uh, to have their upkeep. Wait here. Fire. Probably not a good idea shooting them. No, that wasn't a great idea. General. If we can kill him, maybe these guys will rout sooner. Stop. Yep, shattered. That's what you want to see. What's going on here? Oh, fuck. They decide to be a bit more aggressive. Oh, shit. Look at that. Fucking 30 of them dead, just like that. 
freaks. Actually, no, this could be a good thing. I can isolate them. No, I can't. I don't want to have any part of it. As soon as I took the legionaries out, they were like, fuck that. I'm not going near that shit. Well, they've lost their general, and once he's left the field, that will give them a morale penalty. But in the meantime, I'll cut them down to size. I am going to start shooting these guys, because I don't want them coming at me again. I'm not going to take as much damage, because I've got their shields taking it front on. Still 359 kills. Can't complain about that. That's not the end of it though. They've still got 20%. What's going on? Hurry up. No, that's no good. Shoot them. Oh no, they might just get out of here now. Come on. Shatter, you fuckheads. Good. Oh, they've done just as well as the other one. They might actually do just a slight bit better. Yeah, they did better than the first lot, apart from the fact they took 30 casualties. But that doesn't matter because I'm just banning them after the battle. But yeah, this is looking to be a pretty cut and dry victory. Our hidden units have been discovered. Yep, they're not gonna last, off they go. They're gone as well. Okay, let's get rid of these guys now. Actually, because they're... Uh, what's it called? They're not being reinforced by these guys. I am going to send my legionaries to go deal with them. And I'm going to sandwich them. And it might draw the attention of these guys, at which point I'll use the last of my ammo to annihilate them. Shit, why didn't I bring that guy in closer? Our hidden units have been discovered. And my legion is will tear them a fucking new asshole. Yep, and here they come. Just stay over here for a second. Archers. What are we up against? Where are their slingers? There they are. Oh fuck, if they're set where their slingers are, I need to go fight them. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's what I've got fucking cavalry for. These are all skirmishes. Well, I've certainly got this in the bag. There's no fucking way I'm going to lose this. I mean, they've only got skirmishes left. My cavalry by themselves will be able to handle it. Archers, no need to take friendly fire. Just leave it up to my legionaries. They haven't even taken a single casualty yet. Apart from those initial those uh, cavalry, uh, casualties that were taken on the longbowmen, I might get away from this. Oh, well, there we go. There's the casualties. Whatever's unclosest. Then don't forget them as well. That's it, bowl them down. And this should be the end of the battle. Good! Well that worked out really heroic victory, there you go. Might have to do more battles like this.
Great. Alright, so what have we got here? Mm, could raise it, but I'm going to occupy it. And all of these guys get experience as well, so that's that's an even bigger bonus. Um, can't keep these guys here because they're costing me in total more than 600 just by sitting there. Get to level up though. Make him a bit faster in the future. This guy levels up as well. Give him logistics on his way to becoming a good general. And then disband them. So they'll be available to me next turn. And that should be fine. And um, I think I might end the video there. I probably shouldn't have um, done all that extra stuff there because I didn't autosave it. But I'll be continuing on straight away, so not a big deal. Anyway, like and subscribe. Part 27 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. I'll see you next time.